Okay, guys, so, uh, what have I been up to? Well, it's Wednesday, so, Wednesday, uh, Scotty comes by, and Bianca and Darren come by, so, got into the alcohol, and had an awesome sausage barbecue, still got a pack of buns left, but it was absolutely awesome, but now I've got to get to work. <laughs> buddy of mine, uh, brought his mom's, uh, Mazda RAV4 and absolute piece of junk. Sorry about that. Piece of junk. Um, the, the gas tank was actually held up with uh, bungee cords. So, this is the old uh, strap here, and you can tell it broke there. Um, so, I went to Zubix and got some much, much thicker metal which was a heck of a lot more of a pain in the ass. And you can tell the thickness difference. This is like really thin stuff. I got some really thick stuff. But the problem is, using the thick stuff and making your own is trying to bend it and get it perfect, right? So, but I've got that all back together. Um, give me a second here. Oh. Still a bit lightheaded. Instead of uh, the raving mechanic, it's the drunk mechanic tonight. No. <laughs> but, uh, oh, let's get under here and grab a look. And welcome to my world of rust. Rust everywhere. Yep. So, there's my new strap. It actually worked out pretty good. I'm kind of impressed with it. Um, but yeah, it's holding. That's what matters. And, and the problem is, I don't know how you can tell, her drive shaft actually, the gas tank dropped onto the drive shaft. So thank God for this uh, metal shield here. <laughs> or she would have had some huge problems. But now this one here, I don't know why. This strap here, I don't know why, but they put a bungee cord to hold this side up, but this strap is actually still in decent condition. So I think they just did that for safety. But, as you can tell the bungee cords, so I guess we can get them out of there now. Do, 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 do. Uh, if I can find where he's got all hooked up. Oh, Gracie just... We did this through somewhere. There we go. So that job is done. But, like, I know she's an older lady and she does gardening and stuff like that, but does not maintain her vehicle. So I'm going to take it off the jack stands and jack up the front end and give you a look at that. Okay guys, so I got the front end jacked up and this is actually the front drive shaft. And now look at the play in this wheel bearing. There should be no movement in there whatsoever. And both sides are like that. Hope you guys are picking that up because it's really bad. Now, the ball joint's fine. I'll give you a view of that. Uh, right there. Now watch. Ball joint is absolutely fine. No movement whatsoever. But it's the actual wheel bearing. Now, that's pretty bad. Um, but, yeah, here. I'll give you a look at this side. You guys can probably hear that. That's really, really bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. These RAV4s are pieces of junk. Like, the undercarriage is so rotted on it. Um, if I set it down, <coughs> it needs... <coughs> sorry. The camber on this wheel, I don't know what happened to it. 
it's nice and straight now right but as soon as I lower the vehicle and it's on all fours it sits like that so she definitely needs the camber adjusted on that wheel but yeah what a piece of junk <laughs> so gonna give her the bad news she needs two front wheel bearings and she said she had this wheel bearing replaced but I noticed the whole front end is loose and so we broke it down to it needs both front wheel bearings and they're a bitch because they're the pressing ones they're not the easy hub and bearing assembly you got to press them in or press them out and press them in so oh well she's going to get the bad news tomorrow but my strap is done so I'm going to continue um yeah mmm cheers guys hope you guys had a great night I did what's up what's up buddy oh big stretch oh, 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 oh. yeah alrighty guys um you thought I was done no of course not I have Bianca's Nissan here so I got her set up on the stands right now what's up buddy pain in the butt but I'm going to show you what I have to do to this thing what what what'd you say what'd you say JJ really what's up buddy what come on tell them what Hey. Ah, big shock. Okay, so she has a slight of an exhaust leak. Um, so I'll show you what actually happened. It's not just a minor leak. She's got some serious problems. <laughs> so let's get under here. What's up, buddy? All right. So. We are under the vehicle, and this is her exhaust, okay, hope you guys can see that all right, but this is her exhaust, but if you'll notice something dangling right about here, oh, look at that, that's an exhaust O2 sensor, let me give you a better look at this, here we go, so what happened was, you can tell the exhaust O2 sensor, right? This part here and this bottom part is the actual nut that is welded to the top of the exhaust. So it's actually supposed to go like that. But because the exhaust is flat here and it's like really thin, it has come undone. Well, like literally rusted around and popped out so I have to either weld this back if I can get my welder in there and if I can't the metal don't look feel too bad it feels a little okay thick to try and weld this back but if not I went and got a this is actually an O2 sensor nut. You can actually uh, like drill a hole and weld this and your O2 sensor will fit that. So just in case I can't re-weld that one, um, I'll have to pull the exhaust down and do this. So we're going to set up the welder and see if we can't get this thing quiet. Because she thought, oh, she thought she had major problems. So, hopefully, hopefully I can get in there. I could get this side no problem, but it's just the other side. Coming in through here, somewhere. Somewhere! But, we'll get her done. 
<laughs> one way or the other we'll get her done because she bought the beer and the sausages tonight so hey what do you do right okay guys I actually think I got it and you can probably see there um, hopefully you can see that good but I've got it pretty much I do have it all the way around but you can see how tight of a space it was to weld in so and I actually think she's going to be able to get that O2 sensor out if it ever needs replacing. So, that's awesome. So I'm going to fire it up and see how quiet it is now. Yeah, not a fun job trying to get up and underneath and everything else. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Yeah. It's running and I'm not hearing anything major coming out of it. I'm just going to throw my hand under there and see if there's any noise. I'll go from the bottom. Ugh. Yeah, it was really tough to get to, like, up underneath, all the way around it. It was just ignorant. Oh, I got a slight leak on the back side. Everywhere else is good. Just slight leak on the back side, so... I'm going to see what I can do about getting that. Well, as you can tell, Hopefully by the light. Oh. I've got it all the way around except from this side. But with everything here the way it is, I wish I had better light for you guys, but I don't. But everything the way it is here is just really hard. Like I can get my hand up in through there, but I can't get the welder and the angle through there. But we're gonna keep trying. So, pretty much got that done. Uh, it doesn't leak at all, so that's awesome. Um, now it's just a matter of cleaning up my mess. Get everything cleaned up and get the hell out of here because I'm black. <laughs> Absolutely black. But. Cheers guys, uh, sorry I haven't put many, much uh, videos on this channel, but I did put one up on my vlog channel, uh, Redneck Rickham's Vlogs, um, but yeah, cheers guys.